Hey everybody, Luke Gordon here, and today's video is about three simple ways you can stretch your piriformis muscle. Now, if you're not familiar with the piriformis muscle yet, or piriformis syndrome, I just made a video about it, but essentially, the average person with a piriformis issue has pain right in their buttocks. So I like to joke with people uh, when they have this type of an issue that they actually ha literally have a pain in the butt. Um, so in the other video, I explained a little more about how the piriformis uh, causes pain. I use this fancy little pelvic model to show you. Uh, the pink tape is the piriformis muscle coming from kind of inside your pelvis out towards your hip. So again, if you have some pain and tightness in your buttocks and you think the piriformis muscle is the culprit and you like to relieve some of that pain, these uh, three stretches should be really beneficial for you. The other thing too is if you have pain in the buttocks and it's causing sciatica type pain or that nerve shooting down the back of your leg, that can also happen and these should also help with that as well because again, just based on the location of that piriformis muscle, which is going kind of to the side in your buttocks and your sciatic nerve is going down. For a lot of people, those two are next door neighbors or they're blending into each other. So the stretches are gonna help relieve some of that tension and some of that pain. So I'm gonna show you three easy ways to do the stretch. Uh, the first two are gonna require laying on your back. So they're a little bit trickier for some people if they've got tight hips or they're a little bit bigger body style. The third one's gonna be easier for those folks. So stick around for that one if you want a little bit easier stretch that doesn't require laying on your back and lifting your leg. So that being said, first stretch, one of my favorites, is you're just going to lay on your back. And if it's your right leg that's bothering you, your right buttocks, you're just going to bring the knee up towards you and pull it across your body, kind of towards your opposite shoulder, just until you feel a nice stretch pulling sensation into your buttocks. A uh, nice thing with this one is that it's adjustable. So if you get it up here too high and you don't really feel the stretch, go a little lower, uh, adjust the angle a little bit. Again, what you're going for is that nice stretching feeling in your buttocks. Shouldn't be painful, certainly no sharp pain, shooting pains, anything like that. As long as that stretch is comfortable, go ahead and hold it for about 30 seconds at a time and do it two to three repetitions. Now, I should have said this earlier, but if you're not sure what it should feel like and you don't want to potentially irritate that muscle by pulling too hard on it, if you want to know what the stretch should feel like, try your other leg first. So try the, the good leg first, and then you should get a nice, comfortable stretch on that side. Try to achieve something similar on um, the side that's bothering you. So again, hold that for about 30 seconds at a time, two to three repetitions. Start with just once a day, and if it's comfortable over the first several days, then bump it up to two or three times a day. So that's number one. The second one is similar, um, but for some people it works a little better. It's a little different orientation of the muscle. Uh, same thing, you're gonna start with laying on your back. And again, if I wanna stretch the right leg, what I'm gonna do now is bend up both knees, put my right foot on top of my left knee, just like that, kinda like you're sitting cross-legged in a chair, and then grab the opposite thigh, so the left thigh, and pull that up towards your stomach. One thing I should mention too is definitely put your head down lay on a pillow. I'm just keeping my head up so you can, I guess, see me talking and whatever else. <laughs> but uh, go ahead and get yourself comfortable so you can relax your head and your shoulders. But again, you're pulling on the opposite thigh, again, until you can feel that stretching into this buttocks here. Same exact parameters, should be a comfortable stretch, avoid any sharp pains or anything like that, and then go ahead and just hold for about 30 seconds at a time. So those are the first two. Like I mentioned, it, it involves getting on your back. For some people, you know, lifting their leg up towards their uh, chest is, is difficult or painful. So there's another option too, which is a sitting version of the stretch. Um, actually kind of two ways to the sitting version. Uh, but easy way here, if I want to stretch the right one, cross my leg, now I'm gonna lean forward. Kind of lean forward towards the knee, adjust the angle a little bit until you get the stretch you want. Same exact parameters and guidelines. That's one way to do the sitting stretch, works pretty well. If you have a hard time just getting your leg up, which some clients do, the hip is really tight, it's really sore, you've had surgeries and injuries, um, what you can do instead then, is if you wanna stretch the right leg, is turn sideways on like your table or your bed, whatever you're working on, let the table support your leg, other leg is on the ground, and then lean forwards to get that stretch. Again, right now I'm getting the stretch into my right buttocks, if I lean a little more towards the knee versus away from it, I'm gonna feel a different stretch. So go for what feels good. Same parameters as those first two. You're gonna hold stretches for roughly 30 seconds at a time. Should feel like a good pull. It shouldn't be uh, sharp pain, shooting pains, anything like that. And if you're ever in doubt, again, try stretching the opposite leg first and see how that goes for you. So that should help with uh, the pain in the piriformis muscle, that pain in the buttocks. Um, if you need any help figuring out where the pain is coming from, certainly leave me a comment below the video. And before you go, if you would uh, hit the like button and give me a subscribe,
that would be great too. And I'll be back soon with more useful videos for you. Thanks for watching.